morning everyone hope you're doing well um today i'm on a ride around the ridgeway in the oldbourne area i've just left uh, marlborough via the marlborough to chiseldon railway path um, just coming up to the crossroads with the ridgeway um, i'm going to join the ridgeway climb up onto the ridge line and follow it all the way around to liddington castle and then on to uh, fox hill um, from there, I'm going to do a big loop um, back down to Oldbourne and then head back over to join the Ridgeway again via a few um, farm roads and bridleways um, before dropping back down to the railway path and heading back into Marlborough. Uh, it's quite overcast today, it really doesn't feel like um, the middle of August. Um, quite cool, but it's actually quite nice um, conditions today. So uh, yeah, should be a good ride and I hope you enjoy it. So this is the railway path. Just uh, follow this all the way out of Marlborough. Um, Ogbourne St George is just over to my left. And this is the uh, crossroads with the Ridgeway. See the signs there. Uffington Castle, 12 miles. Not going that far today, but So, just going to follow the ridgeway up the side of this hill. It's quite a long, steady climb to start the ride with. <clears throat> but we do get to descend back down here later on in the ride, which will be good. Okay, that's the first section done. Straight across the road here. Yeah, that's the first climb out of the way. Just gonna follow the ridgeway around to the left. Always wonders what this thing is. Looks like some sort of burning structure for burning something. They look like chimneys. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. I don't know about the rest of the UK, but in Wiltshire, the summer seems to have completely disappeared. It's feeling very autumnal. Particularly today, it's quite cool, really. Had lots of rain. Just wondering where the summer's gone. Yeah, just look at the sign. We're here. We head round to Liddington Castle probably go round and actually see the castle itself and then drop down to Fox Hill here and then all the way down to Holborn down here. to the Upham Crossroads. Down to the right, and then immediately back up to the left. And suddenly the views open up. And they're really good from up here. It's a bit cloudy today, a bit hazy, so you can't really see beyond Swindon. But uh, you can usually see right out to the Cotswolds from here. But still a nice view. And then there's Leadington Castle. Just about pick out the earthworks on the hilltop over there. This is really nice, doesn't it? I'm not sure if we'll 
camera will pick this up, but I can just about see the radio tower on Fox Hill over to my right. off here. This route's known as the Old Bourne Circular Route as well as the Bridgeway Trail. Technically, it's a designated footpath round to the castle, but I just think it's probably okay just to go to the gate, leave your bike there, and just walk the final section round to the castle itself. So this is uh, Liddington Castle. Pretty spectacular views from up here. So, and there's also this really nice compass on the viewing platform. It shows where all the uh, various points of interest are. So, in uh, this direction is Marlborough, and you can just about pick out uh, Martin Cell on the horizon and the ridge line that goes all the way around to Tan Hill and Milk Hill. Uh, in this direction is, uh, so this is Barbary Castle on the hill here, and then uh, Avebury is over the top of the Marlborough Downs, which is in that direction. This is uh, Chiseldon and the valley here, and this is all Swindon, looking out over Swindon. And uh, in the haze beyond that is the Cotswolds. This is the uh, Vale of the White Horse in Oxfordshire. Um, you can just about pick out Whitehorse Hill, I think, on the horizon there. Um, Oldbourne is sort of in that direction, that's where we're heading a bit later on. Um, but we're going to follow this ridge line all the way down to the village. Um, but we're heading over to Fox Hill, which is just ahead of us, just about to pick out the radio tower. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's well worth coming out here if you've got a bit of extra time. It's not overly convenient if you've got a bike. Um, you've got to leave it at the gate just at the other side of this field behind me, but yeah, if you've got a bit of time, well worth the effort, I think. Okay, so just gonna rejoin the ridgeway now. Carry on round to Fox Hill. Lovely views up here, really nice. road again here. <clears throat> and we just got a short climb up onto Fox Hill. Okay, so we want to take this bride away off to the right. I thought while I was here and I got a bit of time, I'm just going to take a quick detour up onto Charlbury Hill, which is just around the corner here. Another really good vantage point. So, this is uh, 
Charlbury Hill. Another little detour that's well worth doing. The ridgeway just down there. <laughs> and this might be as good, if not slightly better, than Liddington Castle, which is just over that way. It's this Fox Hill, that's where we're headed a bit later. These are the Lambourne Downs. I think you can see Ham Hill and Ink Pen Hill and that sort of area. And then uh, that's Whitehorse Hill on the top there where the uh, Uffington Castle monument is. This is of course Vale of the White Horse and Swindon, Cotswolds beyond that. Just another really nice place to stop and take in the views. Okay, let's descend down off Charlbury Hill, head back towards the Ridgeway. Alright, this is the Ridgeway. Just gonna head back to the right here and then over the ridge line to my left. So uh, just earlier we came up from here and we're now going to head off to the left here along this bride away. It's just a short climb and then a descent down a fairly long ridge line. this surface, sort of tufty grass, Isn't the nicest thing to ride on really, but I'd say tufty grass is probably my least favourite off-road surface to ride on, it just seems to suck all your energy. fairly uninteresting stretch of track. But um, the next descent down into Old Bourne is much better. Okay, just uh, across the M4. And we're gonna head around to the left here. Follow this road for a short stretch. Right off here. Right, let's enjoy this descent down into Oldbourne.
starting to hear, feel a few spatters of rain, which isn't ideal. Let's bring it over here. Really good descent though, that way, particularly the last section where it opens out a, a bit more. So this is Oldbourne and uh, I'm going to try and find a spot to stop for some lunch. Okay, so I'm just going to... just going to leave Oldbourne. So this is the start of quite a long, steady climb up onto Ewins Hill, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, <clears throat> and from there, we're going to take a few byways back over to the Ridgeway and uh, we're going to head down to the railway track. Really nice views have just opened up to my right. <clears throat> Stop and take a look. So this is Holborn. We came down this ridge line straight ahead of me, just above the church. And uh, the ridge line before that was there, and you can just about see the uh, tower on top of Fox Hill, Liddington Hill around there. All right, pretty much at the top now. The farm at the top of the hill. I believe this is our turn off and follow this byway round to another road section <clears throat> okay so just a short road section and then we're going to follow that line of trees um, along another byway which should take us down and then up and back up onto join the ridgeway for the final descent of the ride. Bottom. That was good, really good section that was. So, all right, just got a bit of a climb back up the other side to join the ridgeway. Off to the right here. We turned right here, early on the ride, that's towards Liddington Hill. And uh, we came up here, straight ahead. to the 
second section. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Ooh. So, just gonna cruise back into Marlborough along the railway path. I hope you enjoyed that today. And uh, as always, please like and subscribe if you wanna support the channel. And thanks very much for watching. <laughs>